G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Unify controller on an Ubuntu Linux box. So basically there's this uh, easy install script that's been made and it's here, I'll leave the link down below. Um, so it just basically tells you to SSH into the machine which we're just going to open a terminal because we're directly on the machine so that's easily done and then we run the following commands so if I just open up a terminal uh, so I'll ls just to see what I've got here which is nothing no files or anything in here um, so what we can do first is we'll do this so if we copy that and paste it into here what we'll need to do is add sudo onto there to run it as the administrator and then you need to put in your password and then it'll start doing the updates that are needed and um, also installing this uh, CA certificates so once that's finished we need to wget this script which will just download the Unify. Uh, so what we do is we'll copy that and paste it in here and then if we run that script using this uh, we need to sudo that as well so this is the easy install script So now it's going to ask if we want to uh, keep the script on the system, which, why not? We're going to keep it on there. Then it's going to check if we're up to date and start doing the stuff that's in the script. So do we want to proceed? Yes, we do. So then once it's finished the install it asks if you would like to update the Unifier network controller for, via apt, which we do because that makes it a lot easier then we can just go apt get install Unifier. Done. So now we can go service Unify status and we can see that Unify started and then we just go 127.0.0.18443 which is the management URL it's gonna say blah 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 you can't get onto this because TLS isn't on so if we just go yes we don't have a uh, valid security certificate which is fine and now we can just set up the Unify Network Controller and then you just put in your details and you will have your Unify Network Controller set up so if I do this um, I will have it but you can see that is how to install the Unify Network Controller on Ubuntu um, you can host your Unify Network Controller in something like Azure or AWS as well or you need an Ubuntu server instance, you don't actually need the GOI you can just um, use SSH to get in which will work better because it will use hardly any resources whatsoever so like if you wanted to run the Unify or Ubiquiti Network the Unify Controller on an Azure VM you can just use like the lowest plan, cost hardly anything it's like 20 bucks a month or something but anyway guys don't forget like and subscribe to see more and we'll see you next time